Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing Zvi uh, the Arg's Adventure, and last time we actually like played the game. We learned about the game, we level two, look at that, level two. Both of the kids are at level two. Yeah, so money, food, like there's a whole lot of systems going on. I still barely have money, like there's no equipment I can afford, right? I feel like it's worth checking out. Yeah, like everything does. Yeah, so had I not spent all my money on potions, I definitely would have been able to buy equipment and I wouldn't be in this situation. But I did it! That's all there is to it! So, yeah, I, I did the first, like, layer in the zone. But, like, all the other doors are more. I don't know why I just decided to come here. Like, it's so close. Like, let's see how this works out. Veganevs! Uh, oh, hi! Hey! That's pretty cool. The old desert shop. Uh, okay, that's fair. Whoa, that text looks really bad. Zoomed in like that! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, makes sense. Maybe... We count as a marketplace. It's a rug. Uh, all right, okay, so, and right now, ooh, dynamite. All right, in case, but I got like a whole slew of bombs. There's a sweet bridge here. Okay, well, that's exciting. Yeah, there's a shininess, but I don't have the means to interact with it. That's fine. Okay, and there's up here. So, not every, every element of interest on the map, then, is going to be a dungeon. Good to know. These weird, like, oh yeah, it's a labyrinth. Spurry, super start. That's scary. What's going on here? Hi. Set down a quest track down so that is correct. Well, no problem. Wow. <laughs> if, uh, in this, uh, I can lead you into this maze. Superi remote labyrinth or the superi R. Uh huh. The ancient labyrinth. Oh, huh. Okay. So it's a strange be able to Okay, so it's a timed event that I need to pay money to go in. Interesting. How much is it? Like I don't have a lot of money. There's three courses, okay, yeah, and it starts at a thousand. All right, then. There's a nice little money sink, you know, considering that I don't have a lot of money to start with. Uh, this is the edge of the world, you can go there if you want. So, anyway, so, old man, face man, keeps talking about, that's ruins, about a cave with mushrooms. Strange pass. I think you might mean that cave right there. It is kind of off like then there's here too You can go. There's a lot of places you can go, but what about the cavern? Whoops Yeah, uh, the way that this works. Oh, this is dark and I don't like well There's a level 20 entrance with a smile. Oh, by the way uh, Some information about my HUD there so Level 9, but I, I can't even get there uh, the- the faces up there? Yeah, so apparently... Do you mean I'm allowed to have a charge shot? And they both get their own charge shot, so I'm cut- Oh, and that gives him a projectile, alright. Like, that was a big waste, but like, I wanted to see what that was about. So there's a save picnic zone. Always a good time. Is there a level 2 path? Yes, there is! Exactly a level 2 path! Exactly what I wanted! Alright, so we're gonna go here to chill. Yes, we will absolutely save. Here we go. Her magic never runs out. Yeah, it says infinite up there. Well, him, it says zero. Huh? Well, there we go. Alright! Dungeon 2! In the spooky mine where there's mushrooms to be found. Yeah, see? There's the mushrooms. Alright. And there was a weird sprunt sprunt sound. Yeah, it's like broken wood or something. Oh, is it you? 
Why did I do so much damage? Alright, well, you're not dying. Well, you died. Ooh, the music's pretty rad. Alright, okay, so you kind of panic there. Yeah, so the gauge down there, it's because if you got a good timing, uh, instead of just smashing, like, it doubles our damage. It went from 5 to 10. Like, that is super strong. So it's an, something that incentivizes you to attack rhythmically and not just, like, spam, which, cool. Alright, that just opens up. There's a chest. It might be trapped. I don't know. I'm gonna pop these pop. That doesn't open up. Okay. Oh, oh there's, see? There's, like, a goblin. Yeah, look at that. And his friend, the bat. Alright. Killing everyone. Oh, there's a bat there. There we go. Man, you can just barely see them. But, I mean, we are in the dark. There's a certain sense of that. I got hurt. And something opened somewhere. Yeah, it was here. Alright, in that case... I'm gonna open up this thing again. I'm just kind of curious to know if, like, above uh, the door there's something. Alright, like, above here. Like, I didn't really explore here. You see, there's a locked door that won't open. Glad I found that. You can go behind here and it's awkward. Uh, yeah, there were doors I couldn't open in Dungeon 1, though. I, I, I hope I'm going to, like, remember everything. It's, it's kind of complicated. It's, like, complex. The music here is getting wacky. Alright, here we go. Shuffle on down. Alright, what is happening here? We got rock textures, we will persevere. Destroy the urns and everything inside. Yeah, there we go. Well, I shouldn't just attack, though, because, like, there might be a dragon situation where, like, you end up attacking someone who makes you regret it immensely. That hawk! All right, give me some rice cake, though. Hey, that bat. I almost missed you there. Yeah, I don't want to be attacking really, but my issue with that is that, um, the, 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 like, the camera starts scrolling, you're kind of, like, near the edge of the screen. It's really uncomfortable, I think. Whoa there, fire bat bat. No cat here, but there's the plane sound. Glad who have met you. Give me money. Yeah, see, there's a warning. Remember, there was that exact same warning sign next to... Ooh, octopus next to that dragon, right? That's like a sewage hole. There's spikes path. So don't mess with that mushroom. It's that exact same symbol. I recognize patterns. Sometimes. Alright. Except... What do I do now? So we got this. Passage goes up here. Like, if you look at a map, well, I mean, if you look at a map over there, too. Uh... What could I have missed? I guess I'll... Uh. Alright. How about you? Okay. Hmm. Well, how do I interact with this? I push you. Ooh! Okay, so touching the mushroom summoned the whole village here. Got it. Here we go. Sitting here and doing magic, yo. Don't even need to charge. Just sit back and have it large. Here we go. 17. Fireball self esteem. Yeah, uh, the darkness is kind of annoying, but. Not yet deadly. I feel like keyword here is yet. All right. Yeah. Give me more food. More octopus pies, please. Well, um, I think I cleared out the whole village. And still not much to see for it. All right. Like, maybe you need to push? Oh, yeah, you have the ability to push. Yeah, I remember one of the hints. So you can push, not the girl, but the boy can. Uh, this got real awkward. Okay. Push physics feels super bad. Okay. Eh. 
Is that good? Like, yeah. Well, okay. eh. Is that good? Like, how precise do you need me to be here, Spike friend? Alright, well, that'll do, I guess. You did it! You pushed! Well, something stupid's gonna happen. Yeah. Ooh, but it's cherries, though. Ow! I'm, okay, it's a rhythm. That was dumb on my end. Alright, so... There we go. We solved that environmental puzzle. So we're on the other side of that door. Alright, you're- Whoa! Little goblin! Little goblin friend, huh? Yeah, that's right! Juggle! Juggle! Whoa, 20! But, like, they need to land to die eventually is the thing. Yeah. Alright, so I'm probably gonna find something to open that, but- Well, there's... Second level of this cave zone. There's a way to open that from the other side. Oh! Oh, but it's one way. Got it. One way if you just want to go back, I guess, and save. I'm good for now. Everything I think is going okay. Destroy some pots. I don't know why, because they're there. Is that blood or just mushrooms? I don't know. Here we are instead. That's right. Attack blindly. That's exactly... Okay, so they're bats, so... It's okay to attack bats blindly. That's mean. But here we are. Come on, here we go. Yeah, bat attack. Alright, give me your bat money. Why you got so much money? Why do animals have so much money? Alright, there's a little... You know, little fun trip in the dead end zone. Always a blast. What's over here? Okay, so here we're gonna have to find a mushroom somewhere. Well, there's a mushroom. I found it. Wait, you're pushing it. Is that accidental or just because you were heading my way and you're very good and smart? I think it's- ooh, big money. Look at that, you got gold money, huh? Never thought you'd see the day. So, the money does despawn if I don't collect it quickly. That's a sadness. So, clearly I want to put that there, but before I do that- uh, let's do that now, why not? So there's a way, so you just put it there. Yeah, now we did it good. Oh, jeez. Oh, so much rice cake. I need that. I need that for leveling up. Thank you. Yeah, I got hurt a lot there. I just kind of... Yeah, like, I did not play that correctly. But I, for leveling up, getting all this rice cake, rice cake is crucial. More so than, like, any form of money gathering. Alright, because I'm gonna be- I probably have 10 rice cakes now. Let's check it out. Like, one- yeah! I don't even need to count them individually, so I'll be able to level up next time. This is how this game works. So, I'm okay at healing maybe some other kinds of food. Um, for fun. Well, for healing. Mostly. Alright, there's this top path. Look at that bath. We juggle that bath, it's kinda weird. You kinda need to know their health to be able to know when you wanna stop juggling. I just kinda wing it. No puns here. Alright, so this might summon friends, foes, or neighbors. A little bit of both. Oh, it summoned money. Well, oh, there was a bomb there! Okay, I feel like I need to make a decision in terms of possibly healing here. Slow light, like, but like, hmm. You know what? I'm going to eat that. Like, I only have the one. It's fine. I only have the one. I have a lot of objects. Uh, yeah, and it healed me exactly for the amount of damage I had, so. So be careful. Like, I did not really see that bomb there. I. Okay, here there's a split in the path. Path in the split. Split that path. Oh, you're excited. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, yeah, eat. Gonna shatter my heart. Welcome to town. I'm just gonna throw magic at you from across the way. Let me get a gold money, cause- Oh, uh, I already destroyed half my heart there. Feels bad about that. But look at that, everything I managed to get here though. Paying off! Alright, what else is there? I thought it was excitement, but it's just my magic orb to indicate that I have infinite magic. So 
so next level of dungeon here. All right, sounds good. So what's in the other pathway, huh? There's a balloon that I know will summon an enemy of some kind. All right, let's hang out kind of far if we're gonna pop that balloon. Oh, it's just a bomb. Let's hide. Yeah, look at that light effect, though. That was pretty rad. All right, so that was just a balloon trap. They're gonna like, heh <laughs> heh, some kids are gonna come and pop this balloon and they'll blow up. I don't know. Bat, 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 bat. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting the criticals at all. In the slightest. It's fine. All right, buddy. Come on. Come on over here. You can do it. Are you afraid? Timing. All right, pots on the ground. Pots on the ground. Pots on the ground. Pots on the ground. What else is there, huh? Pots on the ground? Hmm. New frontiers in cave exploration. All right, well, oh. Well, uh, you didn't like that. I don't like fighting amongst these spike traps. I know, right? Weird. All right, there's more bats though. Like I just, it's just, it's a bat. It's a it's a bat. Uh, oh jeez. Ow. I say. I hear myself say. Why there's so many bats? All right, give me your octopus. Octopus jelly. All right, are you dead, bat? Why are you not dead yet? Please be dead already. I need your bat money. All right, I lost a heart somehow. That's fine. I'm gonna be okay. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, a sign there. Uh, oh, turrets. I want to read the sign though. Can be destroyed. Is that when you need to use bombs? How do you use a bomb? I thought it was select, but I pressed select there and nothing happened. I'm gonna try again. Yeah. Um. Can be destroyed. Can I? Okay. Another thing. I heard that his Qatar like absorbs magic. Shoot! I ate something by accident. Well, it's fine. Like I left a bomb there. Yeah, and I heard a click a clack. So I was correct. Is that another bomb? I don't really follow what happened. So I wasted a food and then that happened, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Kinda ish. That goblin is really mad at me. Like, what up? I just destroyed your fortification, buddy. Like, come on, relax. Eat plan, plan is good. Alright, hey, 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 is this the prize for going down here? For beating the puzzle of the turret? Is that like a- yeah, it's like a shish kebab. Alright, there we go, we're upgrading our meals here. Can be- why do you put a sign that said your trap could be destroyed? I appreciate it! Alright, there's a pushy mushroom. I'm gonna push it over here. I'm hearing like, flitter flats. Alright, well, I mean- oh, well. Villages here. They got evil axes. Well, they're not evil. They just use it for evil. Same difference. I just don't push a mushroom though. Whoa, fireball! Watch out. So yeah. So the deal with Pockle is that because his guitar absorbs magic, he can kind of block things. So. His advantage is that he's more defensive, but I feel like being able to hang out in the back and shoot fireballs from a distance is a lot more defensive. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Alright, so... Uh-huh, okay, that's that's enough for the game. It's happy with that. Hey, look at that guy. He's coming right at me! What am I going to do? Look at him. That. Yeah, give me the big money here. I want in on that action. Ooh, I also want in on that rice action. I nothing says action like rice. If I miss any items drops, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and it's just gonna happen. Oh, shoot. It's 
let myself get hit there. This is a large room. Like, that might lead to problem. Go! I said, yeah! Trying to kill this bat. Ugh. Letting it throw fire at me. Is it dead? Uh, I think so. I just grabbed some kind of pickup, so... Alright, this is just a big, chunky room. Go goblin attack. That's right, they get mad. They attack just like you, brother. By kind of awkwardly warping forward. Really cool. Alright, look, doing our best here. Here we go. Gonna get some goblin money. Yeah, 334. It's like an amount of riches. Alright, let's just spawn over here in the bottom real quick. I saw what there was to saw, and then I retreated. That. Okay. Well, I broke the thing, and then the spikes got up and downy. As you do. Hey! I beat it! Uh, I got a stage score. Alright! Yeah, I got a scorebook. And you can go here in the yard! Step on the pebbles! Yahoo! Oh, healing. Thank you. Saving? Yeah, you know what? Let's save. Yes, you should. Absolutely. This is today's save zone. I wonder if this is something I can keep up. Like, every day do a dungeon path? I would be pretty happy with that. Whoa. Who's there? And yeah, like at the end there's something happening. Like here there's a soldier. It's the mystery man. Uh, who the heck are you? Hi, unimportant. We're Paco and Pipico. Yeah, yeah, you see, Pipiro, sorry, why did I thought Co? Because she's a girl. That's basically it. Alright, that's a very scary bad answer to give, man. <laughs> Ooh, a new skill. Uh, okay. Oh, you're getting Paco right in the emotions. <laughs> Should a single beam of light cut through the darkness? Ah, oh, man, that'd be really useful here. Alright. Guarantee I'll teach you a new technique that will come in very handy. <laughs> sure, I just saved. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Standing still. Uh-oh. He's grunting. He's grunting. Yeah, he's making the screen shake. Whoa, big text! Watch out! Okay. They didn't experience any sights. Sneak and part upon you. Divine I Mark 100, revision B. Oh, that's a lot of versions. Uh, can detect nearby foes? Oh, that sounds really useful. Yeah. How does that work? Oh, I bet he wanted a violence technique. Okay. But, like, how does it work? Or does it just work all the time? Like, do I just always have an enemy meter now? I mean, that would be pretty swell. Yeah, there's, like, nothing really else to it here. This is it! I made it to the end of the dungeon, and I learned a sweet move! Fantastic. Alright, to use something in my inventory, I completely forgot. That's how it worked. Then you press that button. No? Oh, do I need to, like, do that? Oh, weird. Oh no, that's the drop. I want you to use this. Oh right, so that's how it works. Ugh, the button's involved. So you press the character switch. Ooh, and then you can go to like, even like, okay, that's kind of neat. The button doesn't make sense to me. I'll get used to it over time. But that just didn't make sense to me. All right, we did it. And now we got enough rice cakes to like turn into a dream cake. Welcome. Yes, we can. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. You can just, oh boy, one banini. Sounds good. We're gonna share a banana. We did it. 
Yeah! Good times! Look at that. So, look at that. 30 XP. Do I have a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I also got enough uh, 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 Octobers. Octopus. No, 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 yeah. We're gonna do a double exchange here, friend. Uh, hell yeah! Octopus ball for one cuttlefish. I'm gonna cuddle with it all night. Uh, yeah, it's a squid. Okay, so if I say sure, okay, so you just tell me. All right, so we're gonna be raking in the XP here. Uh, we're gonna level up, like at least. So here we go, banana rific. I love bananas and also the cuttlefish. I mean, that one might be good to keep in, in case I need an emergency heal. See, I wonder if there are, um... Like, what am I thinking here? Maybe I should just put this aside. Because next time I might look if there's a three path. And if they're not, then I could take a four path. You know, try and be smart like that. Now, I do have uh, a little bit of money. I don't want eggs. I can speak to this old man. No, oh, yeah, I went there. There are mushrooms everywhere. You can even fight m people who like mushrooms if that's your style. It's pretty weird. So now there are things I can buy. So attack plus one might be real good. Uh, this is 300. What does it do? I can, with these, I can push heavy objects. So what does that mean? Does that mean minus everything? Probably, right? But it will let you push heavy objects, though. You can also wear these. So L plus one. I, I don't know what that means, though. What's what's What does L mean? Alright, I feel like for my first equipment, I'm just gonna go with the basic of the basics and just buy something. Ooh, wait, so defense plus one minus? I don't know what all the numbers mean. But yeah, like this is a straightforward plus, you know? Like, it makes sense. It's straightforward, then I can... It's in my inventory here for some reason. So, like, what do I do with it? Okay, so it's just an... Okay, so now it's just there. It's equipped, it's there. Okay, can I put it here? Oh, but if you want to equip it, it takes part of your board. Your, at your usable board here. That's interesting, actually. Huh. Um, alright. What I want to do also is put as my first item, like, a cheap item, just so that if I accidentally press item, I don't say put, lay down a bomb at my feet or something. Like, that's just trying to be smart about it. But, no, yeah, okay, so now my ta- I don't know, like, why it says 4 and then 20. 4, normal, 20, something. Okay, so those are my stats. Attack, defense, spirit, luck. So there's a luck stat. Maybe it's related to drops. That's my assumption. Attack is obvious. Defense is obvious. Spirit, I don't know what that does. At least not yet. Maybe this will clear out eventually. I don't know. Or someone is gonna tell me outright. Everything is possible. Yes, we will save. Alright, today has been a grand day of things happening and saving at home. Uh, the greatest flavor of chickens around. Uh,